and another windy day but beautiful then a bit of a muppet thing i forgot my uh head strap mount this flipping gopro on so uh i've got a handheld i've got the uh, gorilla pod so that uh, might do it anyway uh, this is the start of it beautiful place some big houses yeah? this uh stretch of park area is all uh, new reclaimed land so there's probably i don't know a meter or so of new soil put on top of a load of rubbish i've tried there before there's nothing uh, you're picking up bits of sprinkler and old bits of cans and stuff like that. There's just nothing really there. Uh, we we'll cut through here. As you can see, the grass is uh, quite dry here. But, uh, not that bad. When you get down below, it gets really dry. But that's the original old stuff. And this is what you have to deal with. This is like uh, old limestone. And uh, that's just under, under the grass. Yeah, all dry. Here we go, this is where all the older stuff is. Yeah. Plenty of bullets, plenty of old coins, plenty of old silver. I must have had at least 100 plus coins out of here. Basically, I think I've needed to clean the place up. Every now and again, one comes into this nice place. About four weeks ago, there was a massive bee's nest. Uh, yeah, looks like it's still here. I don't want to get too close to it, but I'll try and get close enough so you can see it. That's the last thing I need if you can get stung to death. I don't know if you can see that. That's about two foot long and about eight, nine inches wide. And all that dark colour is all smothered in bees. Yeah, I'll try and get a bit closer. Yeah, I'm just trying to have a go at me now. Right, I'll move away. Alright, as you can see this uh, park is uh, just on a beach. Tidal as well, as you can see what the rubbish. I found a few little silver sixpences here. It's not too bad. It's very hard going, as you can see, but just this solid rock. And what happens is the targets seem to worm their way into the cracks, and it's just a nightmare to get them out. Very shallow out there. Only uh, lead sinkers and stuff out there, really. Yeah, it's quite nice. Anyway, I'm just trying to work out a place to start. We'll go back through this way here. There's certain patches of this ground, it's got like what I would call hot rocks, but I think what it is, it's like coke. I think there were some old factories here at one time, a hundred plus years ago, and uh, it's the leftovers from that. And in these areas here, um, you're getting signals of like it's a silver coin, you dig down six inches, and it's just a bit of coke, and you could be doing that for hours. So you try and avoid them little places around these trees I picked up a nice few silver coins around them in them reeds over there there's been a few pocket spills of old copper coins I've had them out of there probably where the fellas have either been drinking or uh, and having a rest there or maybe just fishermen of a night time and then forgetting something behind this place here is uh, where a big tree used to be I think they replaced it with a smaller one all around all around this tree here I think I must have had about 15 trippances and sixpences out of there and it's all sand and they're only two or three inches down but it's probably where they've been sitting up against the tree and it's been coming out their pockets uh, this area here oh god I don't know nearly 50 coins out of here and uh, every now and again you get an old marble come up with it as well bits of glass yeah but I'm gonna probably try this very slow there's a lot of iron in here and it will drive you mad but you just got to pick them targets out uh, just beyond these little small trees here there's a plate of about 50 meters by 50 meters and that is full of coke and it is a nightmare solid as rock full of targets but it's just when you dig them up it's just coke all right anyway we'll see how we get on all right i'll get my gear together and we'll start as i say i've got this gorilla pod and uh, it's going to be a little bit awkward for me so what i'll do is uh any decent signals i'll uh, switch the camera on and let you know all right then Right, lads, uh, yeah, this is the first target, I don't know if you can see it. Um, it was coming up, I don't know, about around the 11.30s, between 11.30s and 11.40s. It's coming off a bit of a signal like a coin, I suppose it would do, because it was brass. But, um, yeah, this was giving off an excellent single, and you can see how, how deep it is, like, stick, stick the pinpointer in the hole. Yeah, it's about that deep on the pinpointer. 
but uh, this seems to be a lot through here, like from, from this hole up to about here, there seems to be a long line of them, or something very similar to this. I thought it might have been a, a piece of a brass rod or copper wire or something like that, but uh, yeah, that came out. Uh, anyway, alright then. If there's any more come out, uh, I'll turn the camera back on. Alright. Okay, there seems to be something that was very close, about, know, about 12 inches away. I'll leave this camera running and you can see what's going on. Around, it's so dry. Once you get through the top part, it's like, I don't know, 60% sand. Yeah, it seems to be in there. As I said before, it seems to be a long line of these things. Someone must have been firing away and just dropping them. Yeah. Little uh, bullet casing. Yeah, it seems to be a few of them in there. Yep, another one. There might be a coin hidden amongst it. No, another shell. Yeah, it's a big long line of them, I think, yeah. Long. Another one. Oh, we're dead, we're dead. Okay, some sand. There it is. Another one. Okay, a few of them now. Jesus Christ, all we need to do is find the gun now, we'll be laughing. Another one. And yeah, that seems to be it. Alright then. I'll get back to you on the next one. Yeah, just dug this out the hole. It seems to be a clipped piece of uh, bullet. I don't know what they're actually using it for, but it's, it's quite soft. You can mark it with my finger. Yeah. It's definitely a piece of lead. Anyway, on to the next hole. Yeah, just to let you see, this was the hole I just dug that piece of lead out of and I've just covered it back up on all the grass and you wouldn't even know it's done even though the grass is more or less dead but uh, you must uh, cover up your holes and leave no tracks otherwise uh, the park keepers will have enough of you and uh, kick you out I don't know if you can pick up on the sound of the bass coming from that little boat over there Yeah, quite a few of these party boats are coming down there's uh, one that's about four times the size of that and the bass is unbelievable uh, the police are behind, trying to keep their uh, speed right, the boat leaning up. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a regatta thing going on today. Yeah, you can see them dancing it. <laughs> They're loving it. There you go. This is a swamp river for you anyway. I just live across there. Just, yeah, just a 
about the clouds. <laughs> See that uh, red and white beacon there? You can more or less walk out to there and it'll be up to your waist. You've seen actual big bugs come out on these and come out on these rocks. Not a good situation to be in, but oh, this wind. I'm thankful for it, but I'm not thankful for it for on the video. The, uh, the wind's keeping the flies away. Anyway, alright then. Get back to you on the next one. Right, just dug this hole here. Uh, I've just taken a, a bit of a damaged bullet case in there, there and there seems to be another single that I've just waved over the detector and it's coming up roughly about 1240. So that indicates it's a possible silver, but who knows? It could be part of a can. Dug down that deep this hole. Right, let's see how I'm going to do this. It's a bit of a shade shadow cast in there. Let's see if we can get another side of Bit of lead weight mode, aren't you? Bit of shot. Uh oh, there you go. Oh, yes, get in there. What do we got there? <laughs> 19, looks to me, 19, 12, three pence. Shit. I'll uh, give it a nick. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit of a sheen to it. Yeah, this is how crusty they come up. I'll have to give it a clean when I get home, but I don't know if you can see that. but. Yeah, 1912 um, Australian, three pence. Yes. Well, at least I weren't skunked today anyway. Alright then, I'll get back to you on the next. Right, before I stuck this uh, clod back in, I'm giving it a wave over with this. There seems to be something else there. Perhaps another bullet casing, but you'll be able to be another coin. Yep, another bullet casing. Alright then, let's just check before I turn you off. Yeah, that's it. Alright then, get back to the next. Yeah, I just want to show you, look. I've got my lucky Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle t-shirt on. That's probably why I found that silver coin. <laughs> Alright then, yeah, another shot of the view. Alright then, get back to the next. Alright, just dug a hole here, and uh, Seems to be ringing up like it could be another coin. I don't think it's silver. But, uh, potentially either a bullet, or a piece of bullet case, or a piece of lead. Uh, mind you, I just had a hold there just a minute ago, and it was a believe it or not, it was a still now, old still now, and it was ringing up like it was a bit of copper brass. So I'm hoping this might be something that looks worth. Two, three. Now, what type of bullet is that? It's got three rings on it. And it's got a hole at the back. See the three rings? That was very similar to the piece of lead I just found a, a little while ago, but it looked like they had clipped it. So, potentially could have been trying to use it for um, a fishing weight. You can see on there there's rifling on that as well, so this has been shot. Funny enough, it's not hit anything. Perhaps he just hit the long grass when it was all overgrown and just uh, sat there. 
Alright, let's check the house if there's anything else in it. Yeah, nothing. Alright, that's my watch. Yeah, nothing. Alright, then I'll get back to you on the next. Alright, guys, this is coming up at uh, an 11.39, so. It's a bit iffy, but it's such a clear signal. Uh, potentially, bullet casing. limb just falling off a tree over there, a large one. Yeah. No twig. <laughs> Going deep. This would be about four or five inches down. So potentially should be old. What's that? Yeah, that's it there. Right, on this site that I'm here now, in the first and the second world war, they used to use tents here. And I think potentially this could be from the first world war. And I think what the fellas were doing, this is a piece of lead rolled. They were using these as uh, makeshift fishing weights. It properly, you can see it's rolled, it's a bit like a, a sausage roll, but yeah, I think that's what they used them for fishing weights. Yeah, but that's uh, possibly 100 or so years old. There you go, all right, let's see if there's any more in there. That, what? That, that's it. Oh, something else in the out. twice over here, especially when the weather was a bit cooler and the, and the ground was a bit more moist. I've uh, dug out, pulled out a coin and come back the following week and uh, gone over the same hole and then there's been another one in there. It just all depends what angle you approach it I suppose as well. Right, what have we got in there? Yeah. Could be uh, another lead weight maybe. I've had probably close to a dozen bullet cases so far, so... We're in here. Yeah, there you go, look. Another bullet case, I don't know what these are, what are they call them, 22s or something? I don't know. Alright then, get back to you on the next. this nest to be here for quite some time and there's some massive ants in here. I don't know if you've ever seen ants this big. I know in the UK you can get some large ones, um, especially in the, around Hockfield Woods they used to have some massive brand new nests in Essex. But uh, yeah, I'll stick the pinpoint down and you'll see. I'll just uh, say wake up time lads. Come on, come on. Right, yeah, hopefully we'll take that. Look at the size of that thing. Look. What type of ants are they? Yeah, look, that one just carried a, a two centimetre piece of wood back in the nest. Come on, yeah. Thank you, wakey time. Yeah. And you know how big a pinpoint it is? That's probably about a centimetre and a half in width. And these things are probably two centimetres long. I think in the States they have ants very similar size, they call them bullet ants maybe. I don't know if these things can hurt you or not, but I'm not going to look anywhere near me. Get out there. Look at them trying to carry that little mock back. <laughs> okay, come on. There you go. Uh, there you go. Come on. Out you come. Playtime. Yeah, and anyway, I thought I'd show you that. Uh, unbelievable size. Alright. Alright, just dug this hole here. And uh, a larger bullet case has come out. Potentially, this could be uh, belong to one of those um, lead two ringers or three ringers I found. There is writing on the back, but I can't really tell what it is. It's a spent shell, but as you can see, look, the, uh, the time is uh, the salty sand here is just eating the brass away. 
Don't worry. I'll get back to you on the next one. Right, lads. Uh, this is the roundup for the uh, the hunt we've done in the park today. Got a beautiful little uh, Australian Armed Forces uh, military button there. Really good condition. Anyway, I've done some close-up pictures for you. Little Australian 1912, three pence. Excelsior button. Nice patina on that. Three bullets, or potentially three bullets, two, and uh, questionable one. That's got three rings on it. That's got two rings on it. And uh, a load of little uh, bullet casings. These are Ely London. Um, I've written down the numbers and taken a photograph, so you'll see them. A little bit of lead. I don't know what they've done like that. Have a lead there. I think there might be uh, potentially uh, lead sinkers, homemade ones.